All right. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so um, tonight we're doing a weird little project. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes it's just fun to do goofy, weird things because you just never know what you might be able to do with it. And so I love, you know, figuring out what I can do with toilet paper rolls because they're so, they're just, you know, there's got to be something you can do with them. And I know there's lots of things, but so I went through, I have, I have a few collections of them. And they come in different colors and stuff like that too. So um, today we're going to do toilet paper roll stuff. If you don't want to use toilet paper rolls, you can use uh, paper towel rolls. But I think the paper towel rolls are actually thinner. So like as in stature, I guess. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make these goofy little hanging things. Oh, and I forgot to get ribbon. So this is one I made years ago. And... People, like I had this hanging at my front door and people thought it was metal. And I was like, no, it's just, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but anyway, so I've made a few of them. Some, some work better than others. Um, so anyway, they're kind of, I don't know, they're just goofy little things, but they're kind of fun. So we're going to play with that. I'm going to show you some different things I'm trying with the toilet paper rolls. I've seen some really cool stuff on Pinterest with toilet paper rolls too. So um, I know it's it, this is kind of a crafty thing, but you know what? I like that too. So I'm going to start off with just my little piece of um, wax paper. I'm going to set it down on my board. Have you got me on, on hand so they can see my hands? Are you ready to go hands? I think ready I'm ready. To go hands? I'm ready to go hands so you guys can see me. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Kelly. Sorry, Hi, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I work late and I and I have the bird with me because he's been in a cage all day. So to watch. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> you guys all know each other. It's so great. <laughs> Sorry, did, did I, so I wanted Michaela, to be my, here so I could welcome my Michaela. brother is here too. Hi, go back. I'm going to turn myself off now. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are trying to make these little goofy hanger things and, you know, they can be pretty simple, which I've done with this one where it's just, you know, the toilet paper, you're cutting the toilet paper rolls into these thin little pieces and then if you know if you pinch the sides i mean you're gonna have to pinch them anyway as you cut the toilet paper roll but if you pinch them then they become these nice little shapes that you know you don't have to make a flower you could do something else with them if you wanted and you can create like a whole construction of, of things you know they don't have to be perfect you could just you know you could do a wreath almost with these too just whatever you wanted to do. I have these ones here that I cut quite a while ago and I spray painted them sort of copper. So they do look kind of metalish, but they're very thick. So I might try and do those tonight. So, and because of course I spray painted them, they kind of, they don't have as nice, simple a shape as these do. They kind of, they've kind of morphed into a weird shape, but Anyway, and then tonight I was playing around with doing something different with them. So I made this shape out of them. And that's just another bend. You know. So I could put them like this. Oops, get out of here. There we go. So I could do something like that. And then I, was, I made some extra little bits because I just thought it would be kind of fun to do something like that. Course, they're not staying where I want them, but whew. anyway, um, to do this, I don't know if you guys know what quilling is. Quilling is like taking a needle, and I didn't put this on your supply list. You take a needle and you can take paper and you can roll the paper around. Um, it's quite an art form. My mom does a lot of it, or she used to, anyway. Um, and you can create these curly sort of bits. And let me find my phone here. There we go. So you can make like little curls with you know you're just curling the paper around a needle or a something straight so you can do something like that too but for these tonight what we're going to do is so start with your toilet paper roll i'm just going to bend mine first so that i can actually get it 
so I can cut it. Wow, I forgot scissors, just a minute. All right, so all I'm doing is this, I'm just gonna cut some strips of this toilet paper roll. And you know, you can do a five-sided flower or a six petaled flower if you're doing a flower. Kind of like the wreath idea. I think I want to try that, but okay, I have I have lots of um, toilet paper rolls, so I can I can do lots. <laughs> I got to a point where I, I, I just don't save them anymore because I, I have lots. So. Enough is enough. Are you cutting them about a quarter of an inch or narrower? A little bit narrower. Um, it might be a quarter yeah. of an inch. I'm not measuring. I mean, if you wanted to be super precise, you could measure along, but I'm really not, I'm not being that careful. I'm just cutting. It's Leslie, she has to measure. I know she has to measure. KK. I do not have to measure. I just wanted a general sense I'll have to be the same. of how narrow these were. I love Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. I, like now, I did some before and I like I tried a four one and I don't know what happened to my Mod Podge, but it did weird things. I didn't like that one. Yeah. So I kind of like the six or the five are better, I think. So now I have a whole bunch of these things, which is great. And then really what you're gonna do is just sort of play with them, see if you can get them, you know, in some sort of, if you're gonna do a flower, you could do that. You know, just choose a bunch of them and sort of put them together. I think that's seven, it was seven. So you could do something like that. Or like that. Oh, it's not gonna work if I have seven in there. I can only do that if I test, oh my goodness. Anyway, you're just trying to lay it out the way you want it to sit. I think it has to go this way. So I'm just sort of pushing it to, oh my God, now I'm making a mess. Anyway, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to set it the way I want it. No, I'm just gonna do the simple one. I'm trying to make it too complex, okay. So there's, I've just done this one. It's seven petals, which is okay. Now, the thing that you might wanna do is, I think I'm just gonna tack them together a little bit with the Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna use a stick or something just to sort of glue them together a little bit, just so that they stay in place. I don't want them floating away. I want them to stay where I have them. So I'm going to use that Mod Podge just like glue. And sort of put them together. I don't have a pin. Can I use a paintbrush to Mod Podge? Yeah, you can just make sure you wash it when you're done. And wash it good because the Mod Podge can really do a number on brushes, but. 
I learned that the hard way last week. Did you? Work, working on my snowflake piece. Yeah, you just have to and wash I thought it. I had rinsed, yeah, I thought I had rinsed it really well. And the next yeah. day it was pretty darn stiff. So I washed the heck out of it again. And that seemed to help. Yeah. But yeah, I was shocked how much was still in. You know, I find that with, um, you know, like I do when I'm doing my paintings, I, I do a clear coat on the top as when I'm done my painting. And some brushes really hold on to that sort of um, gluey kind of stuff. But I found, I found these brushes at Michael's. And they come in a three pack and they're inexpensive little craft brushes, but they're these ones here. And it's got a synthetic um, brush to it, but it's, it's, um, it's really, really slippery. And I found that like, I love using these brushes to do my clear coat on my paintings. And so something like this washes out a lot easier than, you know, just a regular paintbrush because it doesn't hold as much paint, I don't think. I don't know why, but they wash up really nice, so. Nylon oh, doesn't absorb anything. So once I've got that together, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. I don't know how thick my Mod Podge is. Sometimes the Mod Podge gets really thick. Now, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna be pouring the Mod Mod Podge into the flour and it's gonna leak out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, you're gonna cut once you're, once you're done. Um, some of them, like some of these other ones that I did here, um, it's, a, it's a really, really thin bit of Mod Podge and it's, like it's almost like a little piece of plastic in there. It's so thin. Whereas this one that I did, it's quite thick. It's so thick, in fact, that I think it's stuck to the wax paper. Actually, I think I used parchment paper and it's stuck to the parchment paper. So there's actually parchment paper on the back of this. So it's not quite see-through. It's kind of like a, like a shaded sort of glass, translucent pick so but you know the light still shines through it when I put it on my window this one you'll you'd be able to sort of see through it not really but sort of okay so once I have that there I think it's it's actually stuck to my wax paper right now so I can't I can't really move it because it's sort of setting. I'm gonna take some of this Mod Podge and I'm going to um, drizzle it in each of these little petals. My Mod Podge is very thick. So I'm just gonna do a little bit in each one. And I'll probably use, you know, you can use a paintbrush or a stick or something or a finger to spread it around a bit. I have these lumps trying to get out of my Mod Podge. It's pretty old, I think. Ours is leaking underneath, is that? Yeah, it will a little bit. So what you're gonna be able to do is sort of push it down a little bit. I'm kind of, I'm just gonna move my, now that I've mm -hmm. got it sort of poured in there, I'm just gonna move it so that it sort of gets to all the points. I'm gonna put, I'm pushing that pedal down and I'm just gonna move it into place there. So this is gonna to have to dry overnight, right? So you're not gonna see your results until tomorrow. So it's kind of like Christmas. It'll be like Christmas. You know, one of the things that's kind of cool that um, I, I read or somebody told me once is like, when you're working in your studio or if you're working on a project, do something that you can't, finish right away but you have to leave overnight because 
it gets you back in your studio or back in your creative pit place the next morning to see what the results are. And I, I think about that quite often when I'm doing something like I'm pressing cards or something like that. I'll think, ooh. And I have a couple of spots where it's run underneath and that's okay. It'll just, I'll just cut it off when I go to in the next morning or tomorrow. I guess I should have done one of these and then I sh could show you how to cut it off. Oh, maybe we do that next week. I have very uneven thicknesses of Mod Podge in my petals. Um, it might um, even out. As it's I don't know. Is I yours know. thicker than mine? Um, I took a nice big skim scum off the top. Hmm. But I'm not going as light as you are there, so I'm sure I'm going to have lots of thicky icky. That's all right. You'll still be able to see through it. Well, not see through it, but you'll light will still go through it. Okay. So, because it dries pretty much clear, right? Yeah. I did a craft um, I found with um, white glue the same way mm -hmm. um, with a margarine container. This is very funny. A margarine container lid mm -hmm. and glass beads, yeah, like the flat ones. Yeah. And just made a pattern with them and then poured glue in <laughs> That's and nice. let it dry. Yeah. And then it took a long time to dry. Yeah. And then poked a hole in it and hung it with like fishing line it was kind of neat in the window do we get to use the glitter tonight yeah are you all ready did you get glitter <laughs> well i didn't have the list but i got this big jar of ugly green stuff so yes awesome okay so while your thing is wet this is when you can start adding your glitter and stuff like that so all your stuff is going to go on top of this. Oh, great. And if you have, you know, you can put other stuff in here. You could put like beads or, or buttons or anything you want to do. So I have this little fine glitter, but then I have some chunky glitter that I'm going to. Inside the computer bits. Yes, you can do inside of computers. Mr. Computer Man. So I made my kind of glittery. I also have these weird little pieces of metal. that I want to put in here. I wish I had tweezers. So if you have sequins or, you know, any kind of sparkly things, I bet you Chloe has lots of sparkly stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I thought for sure I'd find some sequins around here because I remember having some great ones. Mm -hmm. And I did not track them down, which <gasps> kind of bummed me out. Yeah, but I found lots of glitter, of which I had saved in the holiday boxes. Awesome. And this stuff comes out white and then it dries clear. Yep. <gasps> okay, I, I can't blow it around. I got it way too thick. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to cover it and watch now. Because glitter in his crop is not good. So I'm going to cover and watch now. I did find roly poly eyes and a lot of seed beads, but I don't think I'm going to use roly poly eyes. It'd be fun. <laughs> It'd be like somebody's watching you. <laughs> yeah. If we drip acrylic paint into the Mod Podge for effect, will that affect the curing of the Mod Podge? 
No, it won't. It'll just color your Mod Podge. That might be cool. That would be cool. So I have glitter in a tube and it was had a little coating on top and I took the lid off and I squeezed it and it went pop right in my face. <laughs> it looks so pretty. And I've got it all over my head. <laughs> I know some people think that glitter should be outlawed. Only the people cleaning it. Where are you, B? Oh, cool. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Ellie, don't lose Felix. No, I'm. He might get mod podged. <laughs> when I'm not looking, he. Um, I'll do so. Oh, he found. He sees my apples. I'll have to give him an apple slice. Just a sec here. Okay, see. Yes, I know you see them. You're so smart. You're such a smart boy. Yeah. So I have quite a few air bubbles in here because I've got, of course, this inky dinky uh, container. Should I be attempting to pop some of those? Um, you can try blowing on them with warm breath. Like just oh. come down low and just just blow on it with your warm breath and see if that sometimes that will rise, um, let the bubbles rise. Oh, okay. I know that when you're doing stuff with resin, it sort of that sort of helps. Okay. I don't have a very good glitter controller, so it's pretty scary. Well, mine's kind of junky, lumpy too, so, but that's okay. I think I tried to do too many. Too many petals? petals because I'm doing them in an abstract type of pattern. Oh, come on. Yeah, those those bubbles are being smarty pants. If you have a hair dryer that you can set on a heat setting, that might help. Good bird. I've just done um, like just like kids at school. Um, more is not better, but I got more. <laughs> Less is more. Well, I don't have the little pointy thing, and I, I didn't have time to figure out to think about getting a, a like a dropper thing for my for my glitter. You know what so works I, really good? What's that? Is um like a salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I didn't have that. So now I have thick lines of gold and lighter bunches of yellow mm -hmm. and one really thick petal full of glue or full of bonch podge, like a really thick one. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get up for a second. I'm just gonna grab something. I'm gonna show you something else you can do. Okay. Of course, as I do things, that's when I'm like, oh, you can do this too. <laughs> so she just left the room. I'm sure she'll come back. Usually she comes back. <laughs> Not always. If not, you will have to resume the tutorial. I'll pick it up. Don't worry. Awesome. I'm sure you will. I've seen all this before. Yep. Cleaned up the glitter. Ah, I've got like, it's glitter crazy. I just have to keep it covered because it's toxic for Felix. Isn't it, buddy? 
And he's just leaving little bits of apple all over. See this cool thing I got to make stamps with? Oh, that's nice. It's like a thick foam thing. It is. I thought I could cut it off and then just kind of carve into it. Yeah. With uh, lino tools. Yeah. Was it your find of the week? No. It was not my find of the week, Smarty Pants. But I have a find of the day today. I found a avocado keeper that was from William and Sonoma for a buck. For a buck. <laughs> well, I couldn't find what I was looking for because dang it if I cleaned up my studio. Um, but what you can also do is instead of putting it on your wax paper, uh -huh. you can put your petals on a piece of tissue paper if you want a colored background. Ooh. Right? Yeah. So if you have... Could you cut up tissue paper and put it in the petals itself as well? Or will it melt in the Mod Podge? No, it, you could do that. And then you would have like okay. little, sil little slivers of color. The other thing that you can get, and I don't know where you get it, but you can get tissue pa paper that bleeds. And that would leave, that would add some color to the, the Mod Podge. It would bleed into the Mod Podge, I would expect a little bit. It would be just like the stained glass you did in art class, right? Yeah. Because you did that with glue and tissue. Yeah, but tissue paper these days doesn't bleed. No, you're right. It's only special tissue paper that you have to buy now mm. that bleeds. Here's my thing I did. Oh, that looks very nice. It's kind of cool, eh? It is cool. Yeah. We're gonna have all these neat things hanging on our windows. Mm -hmm. find out my little curlies that I did. That's all right. How's everybody doing? In a mess like a second grader. Yep. Yeah. But well, you know, that's half the fun. Exactly. Okay. Gentle bird. Gotta make a coat mess. Gentle bird. Bring out your inner child. Yes. What do you see? My inner child has dropped a lid somewhere on the floor. My <laughs> inner child also dropped. Oh, I heard it. It went scooting. I also dropped it in the glue one point which is probably not a really good idea because now if I close the thing and if it glues shut then you can imagine what's going to happen when I try to open it okay so you have wax paper with you so what you can do is you can cut a square of wax paper and put it over the top of your your Mod Podge and then put your lid on Ooh. And that will help. I wasn't a child of the 60s, but I feel like I should be. There you go. See? This is all good. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, boy. I'm just, I'm having problems moving this stuff around. I don't want I you to put your face in that. No, no, no. Good. Gentle bird. Gentle bird. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Here. 
You, can you say hello? Can you wave hello to everybody? Can you say hello? Good bird. You're going so light with the Mod Podge, aren't you? Who? You are caring. No, I no? put a glob in there, but I have to sort of push it around a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay. It's hard for me to see. Okay, I got it. So I'm just like doing a blob and then I move it to where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Aaron, what's in the middle of your other flower? Is that a piece of metal? Yes. <laughs> I decided. So one of the things you can do, and I made a couple of these, I just did like a couple of little curlies that you can put in the middle, or you could put a button or a sequin or you know, a googly eye. A googly eye. I have like the leftover cap of my glitter. Could I use that? Sure. That's that's using reusing. <laughs> it's just to give it that sort of middle finished look. Yeah. Finished look. Good boy. Yeah. Trying to make sure my Mod Podge is going to all my points. And then the Mod Podge will secure it in its shape as well. Yeah. It should. It's supposed to. On TV, it does. Well, I've done a few of them, so I should hope that it would work again. It's been a while since I did this. I actually never did this one in my class because it was just too hard to, you know, sort of control how much people were pouring in their things. Yep. Got you there. About kids, about kids right? Like, yeah. Because everybody here is under control, right? Yeah, everybody yeah, here is under control. Totally. <laughs> I like your curlies. Yeah, they're fun, eh? Yeah. So, Karen, you just made the curlies with the needle then? Just yeah, so I, yeah, so what I did is I cut one. I cut, you know, the edge of one. And then I just start wrapping it around. I started wrapping it around the needle. It's hard to get started, but... Once you get started, then you can just sort of roll it around. So should we sort of be submerging things that we're adding to this or just let them sort of sit on the surface? I think you can let them sit on the surface. They're gonna, they're gonna glue down. Oh, if they're not dry, could we swirl them? Yeah. Oh, I might do that. You could swirl. I mean, try different things. I mean, you. I mean, if you have lots of toilet paper rolls, you could do many of them and try different things in each one. I mean, that's part of the experimentation and learning. Right. Is, is like, don't just do one. Do ninety nine, and then you'll be perfect. Right. I'm going to try one tonight because I have a. Uh, a beak with me. So I'm going to get, uh, whoa, this one. I'm going to get a stick. And yeah, let's swirl. I've got a bunch of seed beads. Some of them are really small ones, and then there are other sizes. So I'm sort of trying to decide what else to drop. Got two types of glitter now, and going for the seed beads. I don't have a lot of the Mod Podge in my things. They're pretty oh, they're shallow. Quite thin, quite thin, so you might need to keep the wax paper on there. You know, right. well, they're not super thin, but it's thinner than I originally thought I would be doing, largely because I don't have a ton of the Mod Podge. But if I have to keep the wax paper on, so be it. Yeah. I 
Look at that. All right. I had these little uh, salt and pepper shakers. I haven't put glitter in them yet, but I just thought they were so cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Oh, that could be another find of the week. I'll have to keep out. I volunteer at WINS, um, Women in Need Thrift Store. Yeah, you know, those are the kind of things, right? Like, you oh, know, yeah. Value Village or something like that. They would make nice little things for, for that. Would these beads be too big or would, I don't know, you can see that. Just a minute, let me just have a look here. I got to find you on my okay. screen here. Oh, would no. these be too big? I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to you. Sure. Yeah, no worries. I got it. Where's my mouse? Oh my goodness. There it is. You have quite the setup. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me see how, bring them closer. They might sink. Okay. But they might still work too, right? Like okay. I have in, you know, actually in this mm -hmm. one here that it, did, it didn't work so well because we tried to do just four, but look at these things. These are like these big plastic sort of blobs. Oh, oh okay. Right? Like you can get those plastic gems and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And even though this one didn't work out because it was only four, it probably needed to be more. It kind of did work out sort of. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like you could do things like that with those. You could even probably use those glass, those flattened glass beads, like, you know, that Kelly had. So they work better if you have more petals. I think if you only have four, it just doesn't seem like, I don't know. I, I think this is one that one of my students did. Okay. So most of the ones that I'm doing, the, the ones that I've had success with were five or, or more. But okay. the four one just, I don't know who did this one. It's not one that I did. So it must be one of my students. Or maybe it was one of my kids. It wasn't me. It wasn't Bill. It wasn't Big Bill. <laughs> That's not how he rolls. Okay, I'm going to try. I have this glitter. This is the funniest thing. This is probably the cheapest glitter in the world because it's so thick. Oh. Like, it's like 300 or 10 grit. Yeah, like they are big squares of glitter. Right. But I love them. I've actually put them in my artwork. Um, I, have, I have a couple of pieces that I put them in because I can use um, tweezers mm -hmm. and I can set the the squares in a perfect line. It's very anal, but uh, I think I have, oh, I just dumped a whole bunch in one. <laughs> Oops. That's exactly what I've been doing. So you know what? I can still lift this. Nay, I can't. And dump out some of those. Yep, they're not dumping. Okay, I'm going to swirl. <laughs> <laughs> they're in there. I'm just going to mix them in. It makes it kind of chunky in there. I don't know. Yeah, one of the pieces that I did, and uh, I don't know what it was, but I think I was teaching it at uh, Michael's one time in their classroom, and what happened was there must have been some people in there before working with glitter because the painting that I was working on had so much glitter in it. And I, so I just went with it and I added more glitter and the piece is called glitter and happiness. Sometimes you just got to go with it. Now this one. I have these goofy little circles. I keep getting up. <laughs> Not prepared. Well, this is something. Oh, I just need another tool. Like, you know, a really good tool to have is a pair of tweezers. I was just going to say that. And it just makes everything a little bit easier. So, there we go. Now I can set things where I want them.
Well, I can see that I'm going to have to add a great big tub of Mod Podge to my next shopping list. Excellent. Make sure you use a coupon. Will do. So, Karen, a question about the Mod Podge when it solidifies. I've done uh, things like this, but larger pieces is one pour using plaster of Paris. And you can sand and alter that carefully once it's hardened. Uh, when this, when the Mod Podge hardens, can it be uh, altered easily? Do you know? When you like sand it or? Well, sand it or or shave lightly with uh, like a sharp knife. Yeah, you can. So, like like this little piece here that that didn't work out this student did or something i can see there's some mod podge sort of there's so, certainly a lot in the middle but i'm not going to worry about that but um there's mod podge just on this side so i can take a knife and i should be able to cut that so you can you can try cutting it or you can try um sanding it if you want, or even just cutting it with a pair of scissors might be easier. Have you ever done this where you line the insides of your toilet paper with the wax paper so that it comes out as a mold without the toilet paper on the exterior? No, I have not done that. That's what I, that, the reason I, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah, no, I haven't done it that way. I think I made my Toilet paper cuts too thick. So it's compared to everyone else, what I'm seeing everyone else do. Well, I have these ones and they're quite thick. I just haven't done them yet. So I can do those ones next. And I'm just trying to find a, a little piece that I haven't used yet here. There we go. Uh oh, Emily's got a cat. Are you, have you had fun today, Emily? There we go. So I've got sort of two that are just drying. I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting this weird painted one that I did together because it's just sitting in my tray anyway. So I might as well do it. Let's see these guys here because they are pretty thick. I think it's still going to be okay, right? I think it's still going to look like some sort of flower. Hey, Bill, can you turn the heat off? I'm feeling it. So because Bill and I are filming down in the basement, I turn the fireplace on and it's like I've had it on for a couple of hours so that poor Bill doesn't freeze. I'm dying. It's so hot in here. <laughs> Bill, turn it off. I don't know the best way to do this one. I kind of wanted that curl underneath, but okay, well. Let's see. Everybody must be concentrating very hard. Or I am, I don't know. So I was going through today, I was going through all the projects that I've done in classes and projects that I'm kind of thinking about doing and stuff like that. 
and trying to sort of come up with a good idea of what else we're going to be covering in the upcoming months and stuff like that. So between goofy projects and uh, more artsy projects or more painting and stuff like that, or we'll probably be doing quite a bit of Zen doodling. So we can have fun with that. It's a thing I do a lot. Okay, there. So now that guy's sort of together. Let's get him mod podged. I might put a little bit more in this one just because he's the the toilet paper rolls are so are cut so thick. And maybe what I'll do is um, so you know that we record these every night. Oh, that was horrible. I just got a big blob. So what I'll do is maybe tomorrow, tomorrow night. I have to work tomorrow. Um, I will maybe show what my pieces finished look like. We'll just do a little add on video, I guess. Can we do that, Bill? I can start with video. Just an add on video to, sh to show you what it looked like or how it finished, how they finished, how they turned out. Might not be till Thursday. I'm booked tomorrow. Are you booked tomorrow? Oh. Okay. All right. Well, it might not be till Thursday. But I'll try and do that before before next week. I'll try and do a little follow up so you guys can see what it looks like. on this top part well my last two must have been sitting a little less flat than the other ones because i had serious leakage you did out okay. from underneath yeah i have some pretty big spots here too just because i goofed up and blobbed it all over the place I think too, I'm gonna have to do something with some scrolls in order for things to hook together well in the end. Where am I here? So I can see what I'm showing. So, because, you know, I can't, oh, it helps if I don't, yeah. So of course I didn't do a flower. I just did a shape and you can see the blob bowling coming underneath those but i just did these they're all affixed together but i don't know you know maybe when the gallery so everybody can see maybe when they're um rigid it won't be an issue but you can really see that one gooing so it's not too bad actually i have a lot more goo, goo around up mine so there we go yours are actually looking pretty good considering okay am i supposed to go back to showing you the picture of it there. So, and I've got um, seed beads in there and a couple of shades of glitter oh, they look and everything nice. sort of sitting on top. Now I need to do those guys. Yeah. But if I, a couple of quilled squir scrolly bits help if the thing ends up feeling a little flexible, like, like it's not rigid enough if there's some movement. Yeah. I keep trying to push that scroll down and then I lift it up again. I found some glittery bits.
That looks nice, Kelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. Can't hear you, Kel. You want to show your picture again? Sure. Sorry, I'm just going very basic. I have to be careful with the um, with the uh, sparkles, the Felix. Yeah. So a little higher. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, cool. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. seeing here where I I thought I got the glue all the way to the edge, and I don't when I'm looking at it from the back. Oops. Maybe I can fix that now. He's just chilling on my shoulder. He is. Yes. This is the third night, so I can't say anything else unless it all goes like to hell in a handbasket. I mean, the last two nights, there was no bloodshed, so it was amazing. That's impressive. I know. So and to be, to be clear, the bloodshed is Kelly's my, bloodshed. My blood. <laughs> My blood from my ears, my cheeks, fingers. yeah, oh, my fingers, awesome. yeah. No. He's um, he's the kind of bird that holds a grudge. So I didn't want to leave him downstairs because I've been gone all day, and then I ran some. Uh, I went grocery shopping, Michaela, after I finished at the store, so I didn't get home until late. Oh, so it's my fault? <laughs> well, if he bites me, it's your fault, yeah. Um, <laughs> so so I, you went to the grocery store for me? For you. So I'm. Um, so when I got home, he's like, where the heck have you been? Because I should have been home like an hour and a half earlier. So I vowed to bring him upstairs with me. But... Yeah, are you watching me now? You can't have any of this. This will send you, this will result in a big vet bill. So does anybody have anything else they want to show? No, I'm, I'm good. Sorry, I'll turn myself off. <laughs> Spencer, you were going to show, it looked like you were going to show. Oh my goodness, what have you got, Elizabeth? Wow, you put a flower in the middle of your flower. <laughs> I missed. I missed it, Elizabeth. Can I see? Oh, Michaela, that looks really nice. Now, did you do, is that tissue that's bleeding there? Actually, I'm not going to lift mine again because everything is sliding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no worries. No. Okay. No, I'm okay. a little scared to lift Chloe's. Oh, that's nice, Michaela. It was tissue paper, Karen. Ah. Look at Chloe's. She's got like an interesting, oh, look at Look at Chloe. She just went to town. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, oh it's awesome. Look at that. Bobby Gems. <laughs> of course, she'd have all the right stuff, you know. Oh, good oh job. yeah. This yeah. was I good. saw this. I was like, oh yeah, Looks this fantastic. is the one for Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, what do you got? I saw something there. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, oh that's, that's great. Good. That looks good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I never thought to do the circle in the middle. That's a cool idea. I like that. You know, this is what's so fun is, right? You know, everybody sort of does their own thing. And this is how we can sort of learn from each other and just see what other people are doing. And so that's really cool. I want to try that one too, with a circle in the middle. There we go. Different interpretations. So, all right. What did I say I was going to do next week? I don't know. I can't remember now. So 24 hours for the Mod Podge to dry? Yeah, about that. You'll see it when it's ready. So I, I think overnight it should be good. Usually it is overnight for me. Those half-inch thick ones might take a little longer. <laughs> yeah, if they're super thick, then it might take longer. But uh, yeah. Okay, so next week, what we're going to delve into is Zen Doodles. And this is something that, you know, I've been doing this for a long time ago, and it's just basically the art of doodling. And there's fun things you can do with it, and we'll use it 
ongoing. We'll do different projects with doodling and stuff like that. So you, you know, you could have a paper, you could have a sketchbook with you to, next week. Um, I haven't quite decided what we'll do. Um, maybe we'll do um, my crazy Zen doodle dogs. Um, that might be fun to do and see how we do it on a zoom meeting. Cause it's a kind of a bit of a game. So yeah, we can do that. So I will post how these guys turned out um, later. And oh, look at, <laughs> yeah, I know somebody here has done Zen doodling, <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh my goodness, <laughs> whole page. Anyway, so I have, I have some Zen doodle patterns that I will make available for you guys to, to do. And um, we'll play a little bit with that. And then we'll do some later on, we'll do projects with the Zen doodles and stuff like that. And just, it, it can be kind of fun. So anyway, I think that's it for tonight. So I hope you guys had fun. I'm going to have to put some wax paper on my Mod Podge or else it'll never open because I have goobed it all over the edge. So <laughs> make sure you do that because chances are we'll use it again. So, um, so the only other thing that um, I didn't talk about here was once it's dry, you can glue your ribbon or whatever you want, however you want to hang it just to the two edges or something like that, just to have it so that it hangs and then you can hang it in your window you know you can look even forward to dry look forward to seeing how it dries i know it's, it's like yeah fun. so so, so, like, so tomorrow morning you guys are all going to run back into where you did your your flowers <laughs> is it dry <laughs> that's a sure way to get you in the studio when you want to see what what the result turned out with when you have something sitting like this so anyway so I hope you guys had fun tonight and uh, I can't wait to see, maybe next week we'll have a little show and tell of, of our creations once they're all dry and everybody can see them and hopefully that all works out for you guys. <laughs> okay. Sounds great. I sent, I sent Bill a picture of my, where my snowflake project is that painting. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's not quite done, but it's got yet another layer of snowflakes. Oh, so. lovely. Okay. I'll, have I'll to be sharing it on the Karen Biko creation tomorrow. Yeah. He'll put it on okay. Karen Biko creations. That's the yeah. Facebook page. Still right. needs one more layer, but it's getting there. Well, you know, and sometimes it's just, it's a process, right? You know, you have to keep adding to it and adding to it. So, so, um, when we, you know, share photos. Do you want us to put them on the Karen Biko Creations page or on the Artistic Entities page? Karen Biko Creations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys should be able to do that on that page. So it's kind of open to everybody. So yeah, you're welcome okay. to share them there. Artistic Entities. With a private artist only group. It, yeah. The Artistic Entities is uh, just a private artist group. Okay. Oh, Okay which you are part of because you show with me. Right. Um, and so, I mean, which is great. You, you can certainly share it there also, because then you could, you're, you'd be sharing it with other artists who aren't participating and they'd be like, Oh, well, we want to do be. that. Yeah, they should be. They just don't know. They just don't know how much fun it is. All right. My little curly cue is not sticking on this one because it's not. Yeah. Stay there. Okay. All right. So I will see you guys next week. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, just you can try emailing me and I'll try and get back to you within a couple of days. I'm terrible, but uh, email is not the thing I go to <laughs> or answering my phone or answering texts. Brenda's <laughs> nodding. She's like, yeah, Karen's horrible. So <laughs> <laughs> so then you text Bill and Bill mentions it to her to check her phone. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's all good. It's yeah, all good. It Thank I, you. I'm, I'm very it's often like a party line for texting. Yeah. So but, well, anyway. thanks very much, Karen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have fun tonight and okay. see you next week. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Chloe. Bye. See ya. Bye. Love you. Bye.